Hi there, welcome to the Electronics Lab. In a previous video where we looked at the mesh current analysis, we did an example where we took this circuit, did the mesh current analysis on it, and came up with this set of linear equations. And then we also converted those linear equations into the matrix form. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve this set of linear equations, either in the equation form or in the matrix form, using a calculator. And specifically, a calculator from Casio, the FX991ES Plus, revision number two. So let's go! This first method of solving a linear equation is a little bit more involved. It's, uh, it's involved, going to involve matrices. And what we're going to do is set up matrix A, set up matrix B, take the inverse of A, and then multiply it by B, and that will give us the answer. So the first thing that we need to do is change to the matrix mode. So we hit the mode button and then six to give us, get us into the matrix mode. And now this is asking us to what matrix we want to set up. Well, let's start up with setting up matrix one and matrix or matrix A. Matrix A is a three by three matrix. And now we can enter the numbers into the three by three matrix. And the way that we do that is we enter the value so we got minus 300, oops. And then every time we have a number, we hit enter and then it moves on to the next number. So I'm just gonna enter the rest of the, the numbers here. Okay, now we have matrix A set up. Next is time to set up matrix B. And what we can do here, we can just get out of this. And then if we go shift, Four, this is all the matrix stuff that we can set up. And if we go into two, this allows us to set up the matrix again. We can pick which matrix to set up. So we're going to set up matrix B. B is a three by one matrix. Um, and it's a fairly straightforward one. It's zero, zero, 24. Okay, now matrix A and matrix B are now set up. So the next thing we can do is we hit shift four and that brings us to the matrix menu again. We want matrix A. So matrix A, and we wanna take the inverse of it. We need to do the, use the X to the minus one. We can't do X to the blank, and then put in minus one, we have to do X to the minus one. So matrix A to the negative one, hit enter. And there give, that gives us the inverse of matrix A. Okay, I'm gonna clear out of this again. And what I'm gonna do is go, and now I need to multiply the inverse of A by B. So I can go shift four to get all the different things, all the different uh, options with, within matrices. If I go to six here, which is the matrix answer, that gives me the answer that I just, that I just calculated, which is the inverse of A, and multiply it by B. Again, shift four to pick the matrix I wanna put up there, which is gonna be matrix B and hit enter. And that gives me the answer. So relatively straightforward, although there's a lot of button pressing and different menus that you need to go into. So probably, or definitely, I know this is not the most efficient way to solve linear equations on this particular calculator. I'll show you that method next. Starting with the calculator turned off, let's turn it on. We are just in the regular math mode. We want to go into the equation mode. So to do that, we go hit the mode button, and then we see the list here, and five is the equation mode. And now it's, a, it's asking what kind of equation do we want to solve, or what kind of set of equations is it? Is it two variable equations? Is it th set of three variable equations? Is it a quadratic, or is it a polynomial? Uh, so we want to set, because we have I1, I2, and I3, it's a three variable equation, three variables, three unknowns. So I hit two. And now I have something that looks a lot like the matrix setup, but it's a little bit different because I have the A, a column, the B column, the C column, and then just off the screen, that way is the D column. And um, we need to enter that value as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter the numbers in A, B, C, and D. So A, the A column is for I1, B is for I2, C is for I3, and then the D column is for the Bs.
So hit the value, and hit enter, and then it moves on to the next. Don't hit enter at D. Okay, all of the values are now entered. And now if I hit enter, and I get my values. X is my I1, 68 over 725, which if you plug that into a calculator, you'll find that it's 92 point whatever milliamps it's supposed to be. Y, this is I2, 56 over 725, about 77 milliamps. And Z, 296 over 2175. So this is the 136 milliamp for I3. As you can see, there are a couple of different methods for solving these sets of linear equations. The first one we used was the matrix method, a little bit longer because there's a lot of menus and submenus you have to go in to select the values. And then this equation solution method, which is much easier. Just enter in the values for your, your variables and your answers and, and hit enter. Behind the scenes, it's the same math going on within the calculator and you end up with the same values. So it's kind of up to you what you want to choose. If you want to get practice with the matrix method, it's because you have other matrix stuff that you want to do. I'd suggest trying the matrix method. If you just want the answer, I suggest using the equation method. And that's it. So start plugging numbers into your calculator and go solve those linear equations. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.